Tense day in court in New York City as Donald Trump's defense cross-examined adult film actress Stormy Daniels for a second day. Trump's attorneys plan to renew their motion for a mistrial in the case based on Daniels' testimony this afternoon. Rena Roy has our continuing coverage tonight. A feisty cross-examination of Stormy Daniels in court. Former President Donald Trump's defense attorneys grilling the adult film actress on the stand for a second day. Several jurors looked as if they were watching a tennis match with their eyes shifting back and forth as things got heated. Trump also appearing to be very engaged as defense attorney Susan Necklace tried to question Daniels' credibility and accused her of extortion. At times, Daniels defiant and defensive on the stand. Prosecutors say Trump's former Lawyer Michael Cohen wired $130,000 to Daniels just days ahead of the 2016 election in exchange for her silence about her alleged sexual encounter with Trump back in 2006. Prosecutors allege Trump repaid Cohen and illegally characterized it as a legal expense, charging him with falsifying business records. Trump has pleaded not guilty to the charges and denies that encounter with Daniels. Necklace asking Daniels, you have no personal knowledge of Trump's involvement in that agreement and what he did and didn't do. Daniels responding not directly. On Tuesday, Daniels walking jurors through her alleged night with Donald Trump in explicit detail. Daniels adamant that she's telling the truth, adding that doing so has cost her, saying she's hired security and moved several times. Stormy Daniels' job on the stand for prosecutors was just to set the scene of what happened that was a story, was a night that Donald Trump never wanted to see come to light of day because this is all the details of what were around it. So, Mission accomplished there. This afternoon, Trump's attorneys plan to again move for a mistrial based on her testimony. The defense also planning to file two other motions, asking to preclude Karen McDougal's potential testimony and also asking to modify part of the limited gag order placed on Trump. A Trump Organization bookkeeper and a HarperCollins book publisher also taking the stand today. Prosecutors say they have about two more weeks to go before they rest their case. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.